and welcome to day 13 of NaNoWriMo, which has been my best writing day so far this month. So, lucky 13. Uh, thank you, Kate Kavanaugh, for mentioning lucky 13 being a thing. And it really has been for me this year. Uh, between the uh, writing Wednesday time that we have set aside at my workplace where there's um, a specific chunk of time and a, a specific location where you can go and just write together. And uh, Becca and Hitta's uh, live, live stream write-in, I got over 3,000 words. That's the highest word count I've gotten for any day so far this month. So I'm very excited. Um, I crossed the 23,000 word mark for the overall project, and I'm super excited about that too. Admittedly, for day 13 with my personal goal, the ideal would have been 26,000 words, but that's still not that far off. And I'm well on track for hitting 50 by the 30th of November. I do find it amusing when I think about how our Writing Wednesday sort of came to be and when I hear the person who sort of established it talking about the educational theory of co-playing and, you know, kids being in the same place playing together but not together and the benefits of that which is all great and true and I don't know all the details so if you're interested in that particular educational theory please go hit Google Scholar. My point is that's what we do every November. <laughs> Those of us who do NaNoWriMo, you know, we might do live write-ins or virtual write-ins and for those of us who participate in things like Weekend Writing Marathon, we might do virtual write-ins year-round um, and, you know, 1K one hour writing sprints with people competing for who can do the most words and all that. And just the fact that you're writing with other people, there is definite benefit to that. Obviously, we experience benefit to that or we wouldn't keep doing it. But if you're in academia, you can't just say yes, there's benefit to doing that or we wouldn't keep doing it. You have to have an actual official theory. And there is one because it does work. The other thing I wanted to look at tonight is the self-care, the, the nano self-care bingo that um, Jazz Little put out earlier. Uh, I don't know if it was earlier this month or if it was still in Preptober. I printed it out and was surprised to see I actually have done a few things on there because I felt like I've not been doing any self-care. But, excuse me. So I've printed it out and I went through it tonight to see if there was anything I could check off thinking maybe there's one or two things because I don't feel like I've been really good on the self-care front this month. I've actually done more than I thought. Let's take a look. So here's a self-care bingo card. I will put a card somewhere to um, Jazz Little's video and we'll link to it below and to the actual bingo card below. Um, she has a number of things on here that um, and she also made a blank version if you wanted to just put your own things in there. Um, I definitely don't have any bingos yet, but I actually have enough things marked off that I could. The um, Everything under, let's go by columns. So under the B's, we've got read, listen to music, make a nice dinner, stretch, and treat yourself. I, go for a walk, exercise slash do something active, have your favorite drink, wear an outfit you love, wear comfy clothes and spend time with family, clean, free, wash hair, go to bed early. G, take a bath, take a nap, 
social media break, sleep in, doodle or color or journal. And O, oh, relax, try something new, say yes to something fun, watch a video that inspires you, eat a healthy meal. So the ones I've gotten to check off so far are read, listen to music, have your favorite drink, wash your hair, take a nap, eat a healthy meal. I had to think about the have your favorite drink. I'm like, did I get to have any pumpkin spice lattes this month or were they all gone by the end of October? Nope, they, there were some for the first week or so. so I got to check that one off. <laughs> um, read, definitely listen to music, absolutely. I have, have had a couple of really cool new things drop that I've been very much enjoying. Um, take a nap, did that just the other night, mentioned that in one of the earlier videos. Uh, wash my hair, absolutely. Um, eat a healthy meal, yes. Um, I've actually been eating pretty healthy in general because I just had a meeting with a nutritionist to help me figure out to help me figure out what I can eat that's not going to make me sick, basically. <laughs> um, that's a whole other discussion for another day, but it has resulted in eating very healthily because it means I got to prepare things as much as possible all myself. Um, which is fun with NaNoWriMo and the total lack of time. <laughs> but she was good at giving me ways to do that. Um, I hesitated over spend time with family, and I did not check that off, even though I did have that um, afternoon on Sunday, because that really wasn't a relaxing spend time with family. It was... A last minute oh my gosh I did not know this was happening I need to get up and do this and and so it wasn't it didn't feel like self-care it felt like stress even though it was good to be around family and it was good to see people and and be with people it it didn't feel like self-care because of the way it happened if I had planned things better and actually stayed on top of things that might have been a different story um, so that's where I'm at for self-care and I'm keeping this visible so that I remind myself that I should be continuing to be able to tick things off on here. In particular, oh, well, in particular, stretch and exercise. Um, I should be checking those off repeatedly. Go for a walk. I also debated over checking that off because I do walk a lot. Um, I walk back and forth across campus. I, I actually put a, a good amount of miles on my feet. But that's not a self-care relaxing walk. It is often a rushing to get somewhere on time walk. It's, duh, today it was a run because you're freezing walk. Um, so not, not the self-care kind of just have a nice relaxing walk thing. So it, that didn't count for me. Yeah, I'm going to keep this visible and remind myself to do some of these things, especially the ones that I feel like I should have already checked off and maybe been able to check off most days and it's the 13th and they're not checked off at all. Um, yeah. So go check this out um, because we are heading towards mid-month and this is a good time to check in and see have you been taking care of yourself? And if these aren't the things that you need to um, check that you are doing for yourself then again like I said she did make a blank one so you can fill in whatever you want and it is very pretty and very colorful I just don't have a color printer so that's why it's just sort of grayscale that's it for now a bit longer than I had intended to ramble on especially since I'm probably gonna end up combining this with tomorrow Although tomorrow's a very busy work day, so whatever cushion I may have built back up by writing over 3,000 words today may disappear tomorrow. So it might be a very quick check-in tomorrow night. We'll see.